Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about the scale entities command. And the scale entities command is in the drop down of move entities. So let's activate this command. To activate this command, we have to draw something in the graphics window. So I'm going to have the line. So this is going to be the first point and this is going to be the second point. Now you can see the move entities command has been activated. Now let's go to the drop down of this. And here comes the command of scale entities. Now, what do you mean by scale? Scale means to enlarge or to reduce the size of an entity. Now, here comes the property manager of scale. First, we have to select the entities, like what entities we need to scale. Here, we can have the multiple selection also. And this is scale about, like from which point you want to scale it. That point is going to be fixed, that means, it is not going to enlarge or reduce in that particular direction from that point, but it will enlarge to the other direction. I will let you have the demonstration regarding that. And here comes the scale factor, like by what factor you want to increase it. And the formula for scale factor is new dimension, like whatever the new dimension you want to have upon, that means divide by original dimension, whatever the current dimension is. Suppose if there is a line, which is of 5 mm and we need to have the size of 10 mm then the scale factor is going to be as 10 upon 5 equals to 2. So this is how the scale factor works and here comes the toggle of copy whether the entity which is going to be get enlarged or reduced you need the copy of that or not okay. So let's start having the demonstration I'm going to have the dimension of this like this is going to be 100 now just going to delete it like just want to represent that that this dimension is 100 now i'm going to make it 200 without using any of the editing tool in the graphics window but will use the scale command so i'm going to scale this like this and the scale factor is going to be 2 now the scale about is going to about this point now you can see what i have said earlier that this point is going to be fixed and it is going to increase in the other direction now just a question for you what is the new dimension of this line if the scale factor is 2 and the original dimension was 100 so the new dimension is going to be 200 okay now let's check this dimension is 200 so this is how the scale works now let's have some more examples regarding that just go to the rectangle i'm going to have the corner rectangle like this and the dimensions are going to be as 50 and this is going to be as 25. now i'm going to scale this using the option of copy scale entities the entities is to scale is this and I want to generate a copy of this and it is asking for how many number of copies you want to have only one okay and the scale about is going to be about the center so how to pick the center you have to just hover your mouse here and you can see here comes the intersection of horizontal and vertical line so I'm going to have this point now it is asking for the scale factor so I want to reduce the size like 50 is going to be 25 and 25 is going to be as 12.5 that means half so I have to put the value as 0 0.5 you can put also 1 by 2 okay so this is how it is going to work now just click on okay now just go to the dimensions and here let's check the dimensions this is 25 which is perfect and this is going to be as 12.5 and we are left with one demonstration like regarding how the fixed point is going to work. I hope this is clear to you and how we can calculate the scaling factor. New dimension divided by original dimension. Now let's go to the line and I'm going to have a line like this. This is going to be as 100. Now let's go to the scale entities. And here comes the scale entities. I do not need the copy, so I am going to deactivate this toggle. And scale about is about this point, and uh, I need the scale factor as 0.5. Now you see, 
this has been changed in the opposite to that point defined earlier if i just click on this point so it will change the position from that point to this point so this is how the scale point defined now you can see how important it is for us to define the scale point correctly otherwise it is going to enlarge or reduce its size from the opposite of that point okay so this is how the scale entities work i hope you have enjoyed the learnings of this tutorial regarding the scale entities please do like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you